All right, guys, let's let's just have a little fun. Let's talk about some next levels because I'm not going to compete with these. And I think um, most people are probably not going to go to these next stages. Uh, most people, and let's be honest, it's totally fine to uh, just wear a really nice Timex or uh, an Apple Watch or you know, G-Shock or whatever. So once you enter into the, the whatever spectrum you want to begin at with a luxury watch, um, you know, you kind of throw some reasoning out the window. So anyway, let's just look at um, my, my picks for different tiers of luxury type watches that are not dive watches. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of burned out of dive watches lately. But so Right here we have the Manta Triumph, which is, I think, a lot of value for the money. So if you, I mean, once you exclude the silliness of it not just being a really nice Timex, um, you have some next level uh, design here and features and size and quality and everything like that, all for what's, you know, is arguably a reasonable price of $1,500, especially when you're going to compare it to maybe some of these other higher end tier ones. You have a, a, a great feeling, well-built bracelet that articulates. There's tons of videos on these already. And then the thinness of it and overall size and, and everything like that and the really nice movement they did is just top notch, totally top notch. So pop this guy on wrist. I'm going to keep this video kind of short, guys, because you've pretty much seen enough videos on these. I don't, I'm just trying to show you all three of them in the same video. So there's a Monta Triumph on my seven and a quarter, seven and an eighth inch wrist. And then the box and presentation and everything that Monta provides with it also lends to the overall luxury package, you know. And then, of course, you have you know, some really good leather straps that are fitted to the case. Um, I've yet to pop the bracelet off because the bracelet is amazing, but if you wanted to throw a really nice leather on there, um, they also have some really well-built uh, NATO straps with really good hardware. That's a really nice NATO that came with it, and they come with a spring bar tool, um, you know, which is take it or leave it. You know, I, I, I have my own, but it's nice that it's included with a package along with the Nice uh, presentation of the box and everything. So then, you know, the next level, whether you want to go with a 36 millimeter or the 41 millimeter, you know, you're jumping up over the $1,500 price tag of the Monta Triumph. Now you're getting into the, you know, $3,000, $2,500 to $3,000 range. Um, and you have some brand heritage with Tudor and you have a, an amazing product as well. So there's tons of videos on these. You have really great bracelets. The top tier clasp with the ceramic ball bearings in it great movements great fit and finish and everything and just a really well built watch and again you have some really cool strap options very nice hardware you know top top notch construction and fit and finish and probably one of the cooler nato you know designs out there are these camo ones um, although it is a little more unconventional uh, from what we're traditionally used to with the attachment method so and then if you want to go to you know the next level up i'm sure there's levels in between all these but these are just the three that i have represented is you have the rolex oyster perpetual 39 millimeter this is the one i picked i think it fits my wrist the best but of course there are other sizes and other colorways so um, this white one drew me in the most just because um it is, I don't know, it just did. You know, sometimes you don't have to explain things, but oh, I didn't pop the, uh, I did not pop the Tudor on wrist. Let me do that real quick. I was too excited to jump to the Rolex. <clears throat> so there's the 41 millimeter Black Bay on my seven and a quarter wrist. Fits and feels great. It definitely feels uh, perfect. So I've never tried the 36 mil. I'm sure it is great as well, because I know a lot of people struggle with picking which one. You know, you have like uh, the Triumph is like 38 and a half, I think. Um, you know, the Black Bay is 41 here. And then, of course, the Oyster Perpetual is a 39 millimeter. So, and I got this one sized uh, loose. 
actually I never did size it. It came from the box this size right here and I never, I just never sized it. I, I think I like the way it fits a little bit loose on the wrist and uh, wears great. And you know, classic design, classic case, um, the clasp and everything is just top notch, simple. I actually kind of like that this one doesn't have any of the, the you know, five millimeter quick adjust or anything like that. Um, I like the simplicity of it. It just works and fits perfect. So um, anyway, guys, let me know what you think um, about the, you know, when you start moving up. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on, you know, there's guys out there that are totally fine with just doing, uh, you know, a Seiko or a Timex or something like that. And that's, you know, I wear them all. I, I enjoy all levels of the watch game. I think that's key is to just enjoy it. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a loom shot here. This new camera is, um, a beast on low light so uh, I'm not getting a full dark shot here but you can see you have the really nice uh, blue tones to the Monta loom you have a really green tone on the uh, loom uh, on camera it's showing more aqua but I assure you it is green I still need to figure out some lighting here and then you can see the Rolex is um, into the naked eye again this is really green this is not blue so i'm gonna have to do some some uh, adjustments with the lighting so you guys can get better low light video and stuff so um between these three i'd on honestly say that the the manta probably i don't know between the manta and the tutor to the naked eye is going to hold out the best the, the rolex um is really good but uh it's not uh, super, super in your face bright, but that's okay. It's more of a dress watch or a casual watch. So thanks for watching, guys. I know there wasn't a ton of information here. I just wanted to share with you these three guys all in one video. You can make your own judgment on each one of them. There's tons of great videos out there. Thanks for watching.